Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to be here. Um, I spend more time in Africa, Africa than I do in Europe. I can assure you a Green Venture Summit in Nairobi or Cape Town would draw the attention of uh, probably close to 1,000 people. The, the demand, the need for energy, smart energy solutions is so overwhelming in the countries that I'm involved in uh, that uh, I really want to organize a summit together with you. Uh, Jan, we've got to take this to Africa, I'm telling you. Uh, my background as a lawyer, uh, I have done quite a few of transactions in the field of renewable energy. I was involved in the first uh, photovoltaic manufacturing plant in East Africa. I have three, um, I'm, I'm an investor myself, I have invested in three companies that are all running profitably. One is the biggest solar system integrator in Africa now with 25 affiliate companies. I'm uh, right now going into manufacturing of solar and customer products. The problem is always the same. The market is huge, but there's no way to access the market. And why is that? Worldwide, there's 1.5 billion people that are not connected to the grid, and 800 million of them live in Africa. And this is our market. We want to penetrate a market of 800 million people that have no energy, and because they have no energy, there's very limited business facilities and opportunities in these areas. And this is where we are going. You all have heard about the mobile phone revolution, which has led to the energy divide, because now everybody has a mobile phone, but nobody knows how to charge it because there's no electricity. And whereas other energies can be subsidized with dirty and unclean energy, like biofuels and bio, bio wood, um, this is not possible with electricity. A mobile phone cannot, charge, cannot be charged by wood. You need electricity. And it led to more demand, because since people have mobile phones, they have access to the modern world, and now they want internet, they want a TV, radio, music, education, communication, and all of this. They are ready to be part of the 21st century. But how are you going to do this without the electricity grid? And now please endorse on two numbers. The annual energy expenditures of any given African household is 120 euros in a year. And these are spent on unclean energy subsidies, on biomass and biofuel. And a mobile phone charge costs up to 50 euro cents in rural Africa and often incurs a travel to the next regional town because there is no electricity in the villages. So, in a, in a consequence, people who are poorer than we are spend more on energy than we do. That's quite unfair. Grid extension, small wind and hydro systems that could extend to these villages that we're talking about, 800 million people in total, they are often either not viable or they're too expensive. So it's time for energy revolution in Africa. This, by the way, is a picture taken in Somaliland. Um, it's time for an energy revolution in Africa, and this picture was taken in Somaliland, where we have deployed one of our solar kiosks. And this is who we are, the solar kiosk. What is it? Solar kiosk is a scalable, a flexible, inclusive business model combined with a smart building, technology, and software. Our business is very simple. We are the general store, like it used to be in the wild, wild west. We are the store where you can get it all. You can get the products that make sense, solar products, cell phones, prepaid cards, agricultural products. You can get fast-moving consumer goods that are sustainable, and you get the services. You get your phone charging, battery charging, you get the internet, print, can, scan, copy, entertainment. You can open a hair saloon, tailor shop, a car repair shop. And because we have the power to sell, we can sell anything. We are intertwining these sales and services. Why are we doing this? Because selling a product is not enough. You have to give after sales services. You have to give technical support. You have to be there for your customer. It's not enough to just deploy some product. You have to take care that these products run, which has not been done in rural Africa as of yet. And our kiosk operators are all trained franchisees who learn about the products that they sell and can give services. 
We're beating the diesel generator. And now if you look at these numbers and compare them with the numbers that Dr. Weber was referring to in, uh, in one of the previous speeches, it's amazing. And there you can see how much more expensive energy is in rural Africa. And the same goes for Asia, big parts of Asia and Southern America. You can see that diesel-generated electricity in these areas costs 80 cents to 1 euro 60 per kilowatt hour. And remember the number that uh, uh, Dr. Weber was referring to, 5 cents per kilowatt hour, okay, <laughs> in, in our developed uh, world. Electricity from the solar kiosk comes much cheaper at 60 cents per kilowatt hour, and the price is decreasing. The result? Solar kiosk becomes the new marketplace in the village. Our building is an optimum between otherwise conflicting features. It's affordable, it's secure, it's scalable, it's controllable, it's durable, it's flexible, and it's beautiful. It's a smart building that is secure, durable, modular, and sexy. Our standard size kiosks give you one kilowatt peak power, which uh, yields four to six kilowatt hours per day. But we have bigger size kiosks now running in Ethiopia. They have two kilowatt, and we're just now building four kilowatt kiosks. Uh, we're starting with a project in Tanzania very soon. We have a software. This software is managing our energy efficiency solution because we are also working with a smart meter, but it's a, it's a smart meter that is tailored to the needs of uh, rural people. And this software will connect each and any solar kiosk to our worldwide network. We have a proof of concept. We are 12 months in the field. We have seven kiosks in Ethiopia, five in Kenya. We have three kiosk generations. We're very soon going to extend to uh, Tanzania, and then the next project is Botswana. This is where they run profitably. Each and any of our kiosks is generating profits. Uh, since this is going to be on YouTube, I'm not going to tell you the numbers, but they all run profitably, and our return on investment is between 12 and 18 months. Some of these kiosks are in the most remote areas that you can possibly think of, in the Omo Valley, in the Masai Mara, where even Jeeps don't go anymore, but our kiosks do. Future extensions are banking, telecom towers, entertainment, water purification, advertising. We're going to extend the solar kiosk to mini grids, we have various strategic partners from these fields. Um, and this will lead to the future, the Solar Kiosk Village. We are a dedicated team of entrepreneurs, engineers, lawyers, architects, and programmers. We have 25 people in three companies now in Berlin, Addis Abeba and Nairobi, 35 people who are running the kiosks. Our mission is we want to bring clean energy products and services to off-grid areas worldwide by combining retail and energy services in innovative new kiosks together with local entrepreneurs as an inclusive business. By this, we aim to become the path to development as the front end of retail and energy services. We believe in doing well by doing good. We have a profitable, scalable business model. We are doing development and our environmental impact where it's most needed, and we have an inclusive bottom of the pyramid business model. Now we need to finance our scaling up after the first round is done so that we can be, become bankable because a lot of development banks want to support us. They're just ready. They wait for our bankable business plan. And last not least, pictures speak much louder than words. These are our estimated customers in rural, off-grid areas of Africa. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of the very good work that you are doing. Yeah. First, I need to raise a fund, and then I will invest. <laughs> <You're very welcome. laughs> Do you have a question for Andreas? Volker, please. Two questions, actually. Uh, you mentioned return on investment between 12 and 18 months. So, What's the business model? You're selling, renting, or operating them? And second question, what about transportation costs? Where are you producing them? OK, thank, thanks for the questions. Um, it's a mixed 
of products and services. We are running the kiosk. We are not selling them. We are running them ourselves as a franchise model. Uh, this, uh, manufacturing we do locally. We manufacture them in Ethiopia and in Kenya as we speak. But of course, a lot of the technology is being imported. Great. Talk to Andreas uh, in the coffee break, and thank you very much. How much capital are you looking for? That's an open question. <laughs> We're looking for a lot more. I can tell you what we've invested so far. So far, we invested close to 5 million euros. Uh, one of our founding investors is one of the founding partners of QCells. Uh, so we're definitely not looking for angel investment, but uh, for a more considerable size. Great. All right. Keep I'm it up. I'm crossing my fingers. I see you in Nairobi, huh? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> and I will go to the Masai Mara and buy uh, something useful there. Yeah. <laughs>